today we're finally going to remodify my van bed. We're going to put legs on it so that it's not just sitting on top of the seats. Remeasure this. Okay. And then put a, cut another board to fit right, right to fit here. there. Okay. And that would be a, support. A good stable support. Yep. And then you could the, put legs over here. Right. The fewer um, supports you got there, the more you can slide in. Yeah. The board that we're using is three-quarter board. Yeah, and we picked a better grade of plywood so that it was smooth. Now is measuring where we're going to put the legs and the height of each one of them. And we're going to make another board for the middle there for stability. on our straight edge. So we're using a hockey stick. So we're taking this old board out and putting a longer one in. Out. Cool. So we're just going to put a longer board in now. Oh, I see what you did. Smart. Now look at all that space I'm going to have underneath. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Oh, inch piece, that's a 12 inch. Yeah, because those crates are 11 and a half, I think. That's level that way. No, it's not. I cut two pieces, uh, 12 inches for the legs in the front or the back? That's for the two back. The two back. Okay. Twelve or twelve and a quarter. Maybe twelve and a quarter. Twelve and a quarter. Thank you, I am. to do is put. We're going to put two legs up front here. We have this board here that we just extended and put a new one in because we already had the brackets and stuff in from the old build. So we decided to keep that in and then we put two legs in the back. And this way I could put crates and things underneath the bed. So now we're drilling uh, three inch screws into the legs. Or to drill the the holes first, so it doesn't split the wood. Hmm. Perfect. Yep. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm using deck screws. Um, they have a coating on it. They don't go, they don't rust as easy. And um, not that they would inside of a dry area like this, but um, I just feel they're a little bit stronger. All right. And here again, I'm drilling these holes so that when I run this fairly heavy screw into it, it doesn't split the two by four. And this quick change is real nice. This is a quarter inch drive um, a screw gun, basically.
or they also call them um, impacts because when I get to, if you get to the bottom you'll hear it clicking a bunch that means it's it's doing like an, a hammer operation on it see that it's nice and flush yeah it looks beautiful Nothing splitting out that way good inch piece I got there now. But we're measuring to see how much higher we have to go on than the front ones. And then I just add a four and a quarter to that one. And then we're gonna put it on this side. Over here this will be It's looking good. Placement gonna work, you think? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna put right, that right to the edge of the. Drill bit looking wobbly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we put these um, legs facing the other way. We're putting the uh, shelf brackets in now. So we have all the support legs in, and now we're just reinforcing them with shelf or L brackets, whatever you want to call them. Using what size screws? Three quarter inch. Three quarter inch, because it's three quarter inch. Plywood. Our plywood is three quarter inch. Here's this last shelf bracket going in. Oops. Mm. All right, looks like we got it. So we got it. It's done. Just got to put it inside now. Look at that. Six legs and a board. It just looks great. Thank you, baby. Look at that.
So we hope this was helpful to those trying to remove the seat and trying to have a better bed platform. Uh, we thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video and continue exploring. <gasps> Holy cow! Picture? Are you going to take the shot or not? Oh. <laughs> Good job. Now, guys, all you have to do is aim. Open your hands. Music bed. Stand.